Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle for Medieval 2, playing as the Holy Roman Empire going up against the Papal States. We're using a Pike and Shot army here, turn 137, so very late stage campaign. And the enemy forces that are coming at us are nothing spectacular, they just outnumber us by a fair bit, by about 50%. We've got 1,200 men, they've got about 1,800 if you also include their reinforcements. We don't really have a lot of cavalry, which is bad for me because if I have cavalry superiority, I can usually dominate the battlefield quite easily. So I can't just go over there and snipe that general, which is the Pope, because uh, he's got 47 units in his bodyguard. And one of our units of cavalry is merchant cavalry militia, so basically cut that number in half because those are not good uh, cavalry units. Anyway, let's jump in here and see what we can do. Fight, His army's in a bit of a mess. We're going to have to reorganize that a fair bit. And just try to... I think we need to do a combination of defensive position with obviously all of our infantry and aggressive positioning with our cavalry. So this has got it. We've got to clean this up. Pike Militia are not my favorite unit in the game by a long shot, but it's what we got, so we got to make use of it. Looks like the terrain's not too bad for us. Okay, that seems good for me. Alright, let's start with the cannons. Where would be a good position for them? Yeah, this incline here. This would be good for us, I think. Try and see where the best of it's going to be. The nice hill over there, but if we tried to make use of it, it would actually make it kind of even playing field because they're not really climbing up a hill from that position, whereas over here they are. Remember, a hill is only a hill if you have the high ground over the enemy. If they're on equal footing on the top of your hill, then you don't have a hill at all. Okay, then with pikes, I like to put them in guard mode. And let's double line them. Because there's not a huge army that's coming at us, so I don't really feel as though the enemy force is going to try to surround us too much. They're not really going to be able to, because the guns are going to force them to charge at us pretty early, which is what we want. So I don't really feel like I need to protect my flanks that much. Also, they don't have much cavalry. They do have a fair bit of missile units. The Aquabuziers are not long range, neither are the handgunners. something to consider. I think three ranks deep is the way to go. They do have fire by rank in this game. Okay, I need to go further down the hill. Gotta have enough distance or else the guns just won't shoot. Okay, yep. Okay, that all seems good. Then you've got the, the drag units, the ones that are in really bad shape. Uh, crossbows can just be wherever, and these guys here, yeah, just sort of behind the main line and charge them in when we when the infantry fight really begins. Yeah, just on that flank there, I think, because there's some units going to be coming from over this way and from behind their army. Alright, and as for our cavalry, I am going to try to harass them immediately. What's this? Oh, I left the gunner behind. Um, where are we going to put you? Hmm. Let's put you out here. And just hope that you shoot at something. The enemy brings reinforcements. Yeah, so bring them out over here. What I want to do is basically just get one good charge in on the archers, because they always put their archers out front. If we can manage that... We might be able to get their general to charge at us nice and early. If we can kill the Pope early, the rest of his units will rout earlier, which will be good for us. Also, if we can get them to run... I'm going to be charging up here. If we get them to run at us, they're going to be tired by the time that they arrive. Well, the rest of our forces will be nice and fresh. We got their freaking crossbows shooting us. Bit dangerous for our general there. Let's, let's pull him back. We've got a decent charge in on those crossbow militia. The whole point of what we're doing here is just to piss them off. 
Alright, I'm going to put these guys here on fire at will. Alright, that should piss them off. See how they're running. Let's go. Sucks that the general took so much damage. But it's not necessarily a bad move. Because look how we've gotten to start rush at us. Rushing at us. That's good. That way they're not meeting up with these forces over here. We might be able to beat them before they arrive. Good. We've also pissed off the general's bodyguard. Hopefully they're going to properly chase after us and get uh, caught by pikes. Hopefully. Or, even better still, uh, bullet in the face. Come on, let me see these cannons roar. Uh, let's, let's tell them to aim at specific targets, especially big clusters. What are you doing? Oh, you are aiming over there, I see. So are you. I see. Turn around. This is where we need to be aiming. This this is not important over here. So how are we going for kills and stuff? Uh, we kind of got a little bit of the advantage there. Like I said, we took a bit of damage, but we also dished out a fair bit. Shouldn't have put them on fire at will. I didn't think they'd actually shoot over there. Seventeen don't have the uh, flame shot. Come on, show me those cannonballs. Yeah, they're coming in. Okay. These guys climbing up the hill here. Guns ready to go. Yep. Unfortunately, the general didn't take the bait as much as I would have liked. Oh no! Would have been great if it did hit him. Take that off. They're, they're never going to play hit with that. They, they did. Well, they're more likely to get it turn it off. Good. The guns seem to be able to shoot with no problems. Yep. The all in guard mode. Good. Bullets are flying. Good, just saw a cannonball rip through there. Good. We are so far gaining a decent advantage. I feel like we can get them to just sit there. I can't go charging in there with the cavalry again. It's not going to work. This one here seems to be moving forward. Stop that. Move move back into the formation here. Or maybe that one's just moving back. Alright. Their, their general's coming around this way. 44 men in that. You back off. Come over here. I want, to, want your help to take out the general. You shoot at the general. Range. Move back. Sooner we kill him, the better. Make sure our artillery fires at targets that are far away. They are not interested at all in our halberdiers. We just have to pin them down and get them over here. Come on, move. Our line over here is holding reasonably well for the time being. We need our guns to be shooting over their heads there. Okay, hopefully the halberdiers can help us out here. Because halberdiers are pretty good against cavalry. Pretty good. They don't need to be in that formation. Our pikes over here aren't taking too much damage. Fifteen, twenty percent. Yeah, we really need to kill the damn Pope, and I think he's going to be over on this side here. Which is not ideal. Overall, we're definitely getting the better of him. Yeah, he's pulling out of the fight. Good, good, good. Good, he's starting to wave up. The enemy king flees. 
Did we get him? Did we get him? We got him. Okay, we got the Pope. Good. That is a great start. Now, mop up the rest of this shit. You guys shoot over there. You back over here. Good, come on. Mop up that line now while we can. Before the rest of them get here. down the ones that we've put over here. Oh, the catapult crew come over. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine by me. Another general's bodyguard is on the way. Good. we got a big route going on over here. The bounty power has massively been improved. Uh, what are you guys doing? I don't really like that. Get back into formation. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, you got two units in the same spot there. That's not good. You, back over there. Yeah, run down the broken units. How the cannon's doing. I have to check to see how many kills they get at the end of this battle. Yeah, run down their broken units. Our pikes are actually doing a pretty damn decent job at holding them back. Okay, this, no, 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 no. I reckon the guns have gotten quite a few kills. I really will need to have a look at the uh, report afterwards to see who's done the best. Obviously the cavalry are probably going to get the most number of kills. That's it, should we mop them up? Now, the armies that are coming in as reinforcements are not going to be affected by the Pope's death. Can shoot that dude there, that would be great. Alright, let's go at their back line and maybe try to get rid of all the missile units. No, they're still reasonably well protected. That unit there is gonna be a big problem. Oh, they're getting at our handgunners, whatever. Get these guys in here, take out the general's bodyguard. Get a charge this in there. Goes for no, 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 the we're fine. He Fucking advisors, the man. The <laughs> <enemy> <laughs> <general> <laughs> Shut up. He has kind honor. That was just the captain from the, the uh, other reinforcing army, not this one over here. Cool. Got rid of them. Papal guard as well. Good units. Good over there. Enemy general has been captured by our imperial troops. That's just the captain. Yeah, just nobody. Doesn't matter. Stay fighting there. Move back. Armored sergeants. There's not something you want to fight. Move back. Captured 420 of them. That's good. Okay. Hold that ground. Hang on. Hang on. Back up. Oh, no. No. Shit. Okay. No. This is what we need to do. Get our bloody cavalry over here before this guy wrecks us completely. Just break through our line. If you couldn't have one volley on him, that'd be fine. Messed with my fucking guns. Come on, guys. Oh, he's... What's he doing? Careful. We no, we're not being defeated. We Shut up. Alright, where are the artillery shooting at? The enemy force Over here. Okay, need you to fight over here. Move these. Move them back a little bit. Shoot into this. Shoot over there. Our front line is, is starting to get a bit thinned out, for sure. Once we've taken out this general, we'll have complete reign with cavalry. Because that'll be the last one. Bounce power's looking good. Come on, guys, hurry up. Need to get him to push through a little bit. The enemy has lost half his army. This one here can't possibly shoot from that angle. Come round over this way. What are you doing with that angle? Get back. Come on. This guy's almost gone. Stupid merchant cap. Oh, our guys are exhausted. It's probably why they're not fighting very well. I got shooting too. Uh, just, just wait, just wait. 
Hang on, get back over here. It's opened up a little bit more now. Come on, let's go here, buddy. Fight to the death. Good, we got him. He did literally fight to the death. All right, well we don't have much cavalry left, but we do have cavalry superiority now. That's for sure. This battle seems to be yeah, what I tell you, favor. fucking advisor, idiot. All three generals have now been dealt with. Alright, I think with our cavalry, just focus on running down the enemy units. I really don't think they're going to put up much of a fight now. And try to make sure we don't get too much friendly fire. So what's left? Alright, cease fire. If anything starts coming at us... Shoot at that one. I think that's the last unit. Well, I'll tell you what, this is an interesting battle because I very rarely get to the late stage of the campaign and get to fight a pike and shot battle. This kind of really felt like a pike and shot battle. I feel like Medieval 2 does pike and shot pretty damn well. We have broken the enemy arm. Medieval 2 just does now battles in general really, really the well. Schwein. You just feel like they've got a lot of weight to it. It's not super fast. Battles aren't over in five seconds. Which you know, depends on your personal preferences. Okay, cool. Well, the guns, they've, they've done all they need to do there. Uh, no, 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 stop. You, you may hit our own units. You gotta be careful there. We should try to run down as many of them as possible so you don't have to fight them as much later uh, next time. I don't have instructions on whether or not to be merciful to these guys, so naturally, I'm going to use my judgment. <laughs> but you, you know what that means. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. How do we go? 84%. So, I haven't wiped them out yet. So, how much did we lose? 45% of our army. You know, the Pike Militia did well. I don't think a single one of our units broke in this battle. But we had the general fairly close to them the entire time. And he's not a terrible general. But yeah, your army's definitely going to need some retraining. It's... There's a remnant over there. Let's put a stop to it. If we can get to it in time, which I don't think we will. It's too far away. Alright, we'll call that there. This day will go down in cool, the heroic victory. I always like getting one of those. It's a lot easier to get heroic victories in Medieval 2 victories. than other Total War games. Let's have a look at the damage output that we that we inflicted. So, casualties inflicted 11. Back Right, the mercenary Pavi's crossbowmen inflicted 97 casualties. Grand Bombard 58, Acrobusier's 89, 56. Well, these guys. Okay, so the casualties they inflicted were prisoners caught. Serpent. So, actually, the artillery did pretty damn well. Some of these pike militia did quite well as well. Everyone, nobody really let us down. Cool. Oh, we captured the Pope. Yes, you know that we can pay. I don't think they can pay. Ooh, this is actually a bit of a dilemma, because I oftentimes say you should always execute unless you capture their king. But it's the Pope. No, you don't have to do this. I don't think they can pay. The Pope usually does have a fair bit of money, and he's got like, a fair bit of territory there by the look of it. See, here's the thing. I want him to die. Because I captured a lot of them. But legend, it's 16,000. Imagine what he can do with that. Hmm. 
Hmm, it's so tempting. What would this passive player probably do? Probably go for a surely yes. release. Take the noble. No, that is off the table. We are yeah. not releasing him. Not gonna happen. It's either yeah. ransom you in the hope that they don't pay for it, or execute. God, no. Okay. Yes, Lord. If you can pay, you can play. Yes, that's exactly the result I wanted. <laughs> Meat's still back on the menu. We're eating Pope tonight. Oh, legend, that's so irreverent. Fuck the Pope. Why doesn't they show the Pope any respect? Give the Pope all the respect that they deserved right there. We honor you, Kaiser. All right, and... Yeah, if you want money, sacking it. There you go. That sorts it out. Mongols are in full swing. I can see a lot of these... These, um... Settlements are on, like, auto-management. This really stinks of, like, noob player. Because you really shouldn't put it on auto-manage. Uh, I don't know if that's what you want. I'll just save the game and then let you decide what you want to do with it. But you got the Black Death going on as well. Are we still at war with the Pope? Yeah. Okay, so that, that's the remnant of your army. Your general... Uh, okay, so he's a chivalrous general. I was kind of expecting that. So by not executing them, at least I didn't cause him any dread. It seems like that's the way that this guy is trying to play his campaign. I don't want to ruin that for him. It's not the way I personally play, but that's, that's fine. So, Ransom, you're not going to get any chivalry from that, but you're not going to lose any. Even though we got the exact desired result in their death. They couldn't pay. Who cares? Get, a new Pope shows up, maybe capture him next time. But yeah, you'll need a few more units if you want to keep pushing on to, um, to Rome. Oh, there's plague everywhere. It's probably a good time to hunker down and... Yeah, you were making fuck all money as well. Well, that, that'll... Tide you through the, the um, get you through the uh, Black Death at least. Yeah. Anyway, I'll send that save file back to him and hopefully he continues his campaign without any further problems. Although, the Mongols are definitely going to cause him some problems. Um, it's just a matter of when, not if. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. I do really appreciate this save file being sent in because I don't very, I very rarely get an opportunity to play a pike and shot battle in Medieval 2 because I'm usually just done with these campaigns by now. Uh, by, by that mean I'm conquer the whole map. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.